Maniacs, welcome back to the channel. Your local bedhead here. So, as you can see on the side of me right now, these are a couple of the posts I have been seeing. Some of them were posted about 30 minutes ago to an hour ago. So, this is something that's now coming out. So, the Instagram page was removed. We all know that. And now we're getting word that this person was not the owner of the Conjuring House. Now, I have not seen any proof, like 100% proof, that would say otherwise. I'm just going by what they're saying, and that's fine. They are saying it was not the owner. But a lot of them actually thought it was. There was a lot of people who truly believe that this was the actual owner. Because whoever was impersonating her did a hell of a damn good job. She's made so many unhinged posts on the real official Conjuring House website on Facebook that you would almost believe almost anything. And I certainly was one of those people. When all of a sudden someone jumps into the Discord, starts doing all of this stuff, then I start slowly getting confirmation by people around the paranormal community saying that this is actually her Instagram account. And I then I started really to believe that this was in fact the owner of the Conjuring House. I, I feel like an idiot. I won't lie to you. I'm not, I'm not proud of myself in the slightest. I don't feel good that I made all those videos. I hope, mo I hope Jacqueline Nunez and most of anybody can understand where my mindset was coming from. I'm very glad I did not go unhinged myself and say a lot of things I felt like I would have regretted now knowing what I know. Uh, so I think it's easy. I think it's safe to say and confirm to say that whoever posted those inappropriate pictures on my Discord was more than likely just a random troll. Probably somebody who had no relations to Jacqueline Nunez at all, probably just wanted to start beef, which was a theory that we did certainly have in the beginning of all of this. It's just our mind started changing once we started seeing the posts on Instagram, once we started seeing, uh, once I started seeing the text messages from people in the paranormal community confirming that this was Jacqueline Nunez, I really started to feel like this was the actual person. Now, on my part, that is my fault. I should have looked into it more. I do go by, a lot of the times, I do go by what people say, who I think are very trustworthy people, and and I guess this was just a situation where all of us were kind of fooled. I'm definitely not the only one who thought this was truly the owner of the Conjuring House switching over to, from in, uh, Facebook to Instagram. I'm certainly not the only one. This seems to be a moment where we kind of got bamboozled. We got somebody out here trying to start YouTuber beef with each other. I think... This person's agenda was to try to get everybody so pissed off at each other, get everybody on a, get this drama continuously going. This drama might have ended a lot sooner than expected. And for that, I'm actually happy to hear that this Instagram stuff could be officially deducted as nothing more than a troll account. Trying to go after people, trying to make people uncomfortable, trying to just insert a level of drama and and hatefulness and cyberbullying on top of things that were simply and clearly already being handled. It was already to a point where it was so bad already and whoever did this wanted to amplify it. Disgusting behavior from whoever did this. I really hope legal action is taken against whoever made this account. I really do. And to Jacqueline Nunez, I do apologize. A hundred percent, I apologize. If this is a hundred percent true, there is no if, ands, or buts. This person was an absolute troll and was faking this account the entire time. I apologize. I should have done my, I should have looked into it more. And I take full credibility for everything I have said, everything I have posted about this whole account. I gave views to a troll. I gave views to somebody, a profound idiot. I'm not proud of myself. I'm actually very disappointed in myself. Again, I hope everybody can understand where my mindset was, why I truly believed that this was the owner. I'm certainly not the only one. I had a conversation with Satori Haas not long ago, going over a small conversation about the Instagram account and whatnot, and she found some things odd. I assumed that what she asked me was, um, how did she, was she able to use Discord? She was never a tech person. And I just assumed it was very self-explanatory. Once you click on the link, you can just make an account and then join. That's what I thought. So that was my mindset and where I was thinking that's what she did. Clearly it shows that I just do not know everything. I was going by the word of some people. 
Still people I trust, 100%. But I think uh, if this really is the case, where this was a situation of it being a troll, and it's beginning to lean more into that possibility, then I apologize to every single person here for throwing these accusations out there without knowing 100% that this was in fact the owner of The Conjuring House. And I wasn't going to say nothing. That's probably why it took me a while to even make that post about the Discord server and the inappropriate picture was because I was kind of waiting for confirmation. And then when I had some people reaching out to me and telling me well, on my live stream that this was in fact that person, I was like, okay, well now I have confirmation. But I should have waited a little bit longer. And for that, I do apologize. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Do you think this is 100% a fake account? And I had some people telling me that they truly believe it was a fake account, and it looks like you guys might have been right. It looks like you guys might have been right. And uh, again, Jacqueline Nunes, I apologize. I apologize to my audience. I, this is a fuck up on my part, but again, hopefully you can understand where I was coming from. It wasn't from a place of hate. It was from a place of just being concerned. So let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. Uh, I'm hoping I'll probably do more videos the more this unfolds. I hope we can figure out who was behind this troll account if it was, in fact, 100% a troll. And hopefully something is done because what they did was absolutely dis disgusting. It's dangerous on top of everything else. Very dangerous because a lot of people truly believed that I was in harm's way because of what you posted. You were, you were painting this person out who already has some serious problems going on. You're painting this person out to be even more so than what they were. And that is dangerous. So dangerous. Let me know what you think in the comment section, guys. I want to hear your thoughts. And please, do take care. Through.